What's up, Razman? I actually got the Razman here. Sorry if you hear any noise in the background. My nephew's here and he's going crazy. You'll actually see him in a minute. Oh so yeah, package assemble. An early birthday gift from Chill Pilgrim 1138. Today, on the Razman's Reality. Apologies to you, Scott. I had filmed a full unboxing of this, but YouTube is giving me fits right now, and for some reason, even though I'm a partner, I can't upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes. So, I had to reshoot this today on Saturday. You did get a blessing in disguise out of it, though, because since my mom knew the Blu-ray was here, she gave me this. My brand new Avengers t-shirt, and you can see, I'm trying to sit up a little bit so you can see through the tray, but it has them all there, and at the bottom it says assemble. So, anyway, if you all saw the Target video that Scott uploaded, you know that he sent me the Target exclusive edition Blu-ray of... The Avengers. This, of course, is the Best Buy Metal Pack, and that's the main reason that I asked Scott to help me out. And I originally was going to pay him back as a birthday, when I got birthday money, with that birthday money. But he chose to make it an early birthday present. And the main reason I wanted Scott to help me out, as I was starting to say, is that I wanted this metal pack. My Best Buy was completely sold out of the metal pack. As you saw, his was as well. But thanks to our friend Luke, Razor Wire Reviews, who is sending Scott the UK Steelbook, which the only difference really is the spine. The spine here has the characters on the UK Steelbook, but the cover, front cover there with a nice raised embossed A for the Avengers and Marvel's the Avengers. And the back here is exactly the same in the UK Steelbook as is the interior artwork which I'm about to show you. Nice beautiful shot of the original film poster there. I never understood why Iron Man has his helmet off, though, because he wouldn't have his helmet off during a fight. Maybe they just wanted Robert Downey Jr.'s face to try and help sell tickets, but do they really need to try and help sell tickets to this film? I think not. So, as you can see, what I did is, since I don't have a 3D Blu-ray player or a 3D TV yet, I put the 2D feature film and special features as this one. The Target exclusive Blu-ray disc, Building a Cinematic Universe, as disc 2, and the Blu-ray 3D feature film as disc 3. Sorry, I forgot that you can't really see the second half of the inner artwork with disc 3 in there, but it's the other side of the original poster with Cap and the rest of the Avengers. So yeah, just an absolutely beautiful case, and the main reason that I wanted it, other than just being a collector and that this is our holy grail in Region 1 as we didn't get a straight steelbook and the suitcase set got delayed, was that I wanted my little nephew to have the DVD copy of the Avengers in an actual case, and that he loves looking at and enjoying artwork. So yeah, it was a real joy to be able to give him that thanks to Scott and Caden and I wanted to say thanks to Scott so here's that my little nephew is here I convinced him to do the video where he's gonna get his surprise I couldn't figure out how to re-enable my webcam mic though I don't know how to do that on Windows 7 because I'm so new to it so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give him 
the gift, he's gonna see what it is, and then he's gonna come over here, and he's gonna say, thank you, Scott, because Scott gave me mine, so I could give him his. So, here we go. Here we go. Come on, Kaden. Come on over. You ready? Ta-da! <laughs> it is the Avengers. And say, thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Hope you all enjoyed that. He's normally camera shy, but I actually got him to do the video, so I enjoyed that tremendously. Hope you all did as well, especially Scott. Before I close out, I have a video letter from Scott that he did, so here's that. Hey Raz, happy early birthday. I hope you enjoy this present. I know it's early. Avengers is a great movie. I think only Josh Whedon can pull off an ensemble cast like this. But like I said, happy early birthday. I hope you enjoyed the present. And uh, I'm sorry, but I'm just I'm just rushed for time right now. I gotta go out. I really so. Again, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, like I love your channel. I love your radio show. I can't wait to be on it again for the third time. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll get the right microphone this time. Matter of fact, I'm gonna try to get it tonight. So uh, enjoy it. No worries, man, about the short video letter. I'm just happy someone did it. I really enjoy doing those on this channel because I think YouTube's a video site. So whenever you can do a video letter, instead of writing a letter or a note, it's pretty cool. And I think it's unique and enjoyable. And, of course, I got the idea from Zarin Isaac and Jason and the Multimedia Chronicles Retro. So, yeah love doing that. I completely agree with you that only Josh Whedon could pull off a cast like this. He is the master for various reasons and yeah he just made the perfect film. I do feel that it's the best superhero film of all time. It's not the best film with a superhero in it and if I have to tell you what that is you're not a true cinephile but it is the best superhero film of all time. No doubt about it. And I too look forward to having you on the radio show. And I have faith that it's going to work out this time, man. So everybody go and subscribe to Scott if you haven't already. Your life will be better off for it. One other thing you all are probably wondering. Why is the slipcover from the original case up there on display in my collection not on Caden's Blu-ray case it's because he actually accidentally ripped the Blu-ray slipcover of the Green Lantern when I upgraded Green Lantern to Steelbook and so I decided that I'm going to keep the slipcovers from now on for anything I give him and then I'll give him the slipcovers when he's a little bit older and knows how to take care of them better. Avengers Assemble! This is reality according to the Razman. And Razman style, it's not just a catchphrase, but a way of life.